Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hey, John, how you doing? Art, good to see you again. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act 2, the founder's vlog, as we like to call it, our usual Thursday get-together to solve all the problems of the world, wouldn't you say, Art? And cause a few as well. <laughs> Troublemakers at any age. And you know what? I think that our troublemaking actually comes in cycles, like once a week. <laughs> the cycle of life. Oh, yeah. Did I say that? Did I, I wish I could sing that uh, song from uh, <laughs> oh, Kuma Matata right now. Uh, holding yeah. up the, the, the animal. Uh, that, yeah, but that's not Kuma Matata. That's not, it's a different yeah. song. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can't even get our song straight. So, uh, so you, uh, well, you're not talking about bicycles, are you? <laughs> no, but listen, even though it's still January, right? Mm, yeah. And it's a, it's kind of a new year. You could call that the beginning of a cycle, although I don't have to think of it that way. But, but life has certain cycles. So, for instance, because it's January, I never would think about getting a flu shot, right? Because flu right. shots always come in September. early August, September, maybe right. October if you're a little late. Right. Well, now we're talking about getting a flu shot for the COVID thing, hopefully as soon as possible, but maybe not till March. That's a right. that's a totally out of sync cycle for flu shots. So, and by the way, John Mariani, uh, our good friend John Mariani, posted recently that he did get his COVID shot. Well, he had to travel. Let's say he lives in New York, huh? He lives in New York. He yeah. had to travel all the way from Westchester County through New York City to, to Long Island. I think, Staten Island or someplace to yeah. get the shot. But yeah, he we, got it. We have friends on Long Island that have already gotten their uh, second shot. I mean, they're, they're for them. much better organized. But let's talk about real cycles. OK, let's start <laughs> with the, the basic cycle cycle. Uh, and in this the particular the, the first thing that you do at the beginning of every year, no, it's not break a resolution, because you shouldn't be making them, in my opinion. Right. <laughs> is this year, the first thing I did on my cycles was write a check that said 2021. Oh, yeah, that's uh, true. So that's, that's the first cycle. That's good. Okay. That's good. I, I usually go through about two weeks of putting down the last year instead of catching up. And by, the by the way, this I've year. actually had, I've had a check rejected because it was dated uh, over a year old and the bank yeah. wouldn't accept it. So, but so, yeah. so. The new year, that's one cycle. Right. And another one, you actually have uh, very important cycles in your world, which is planting season, don't you? Planting season. By the way, I'm a great fan of the Farmer's Almanac. If you ever read it, it is a fun read. But it's also got all the uh, cycles of planting and mm -hmm. planting on the moon or weather. And it's got a fantastic weather report. Right. Right. Uh, and I don't know how they put it together over a year ahead of time, but it is, it, it is as accurate as it is, is amazing. Um, well, isn't, so, isn't Ben Franklin still uh, the publisher of that? Wasn't he the original guy? Robert, uh, what's his name? Yeah. Uh, ben Franklin. Wasn't no, he no. The kind of guy? Robert, Robert somebody or other, and, oh. and they use his name even though it's, it's not. Oh, the, uh, He's dead for 200 years. So okay, but he may still be writing them because they're fairly accurate. And, you know, once you got it right, okay, <laughs> the guy who did the Sears catalog, those are gone. And things like, okay, so let's talk about little back to cycles. Okay, so back to cycles. You're right. The Farmer's Almanac yeah. tells us when it's going to start raining in Southern California. They break it down mm -hmm. region by region for the United States. Here in Southern California, our rains come typically in late January, early February, and they will, depending on the year, uh, they will go through a, a month or two of right. rain on and off, and we'll either have a, you know, an El Nino or a whatever it is. This year, it's, it looks like it's going to be pretty dry. Mm. Um, but I do know the rains are coming within probably three weeks, uh, and then the ground will get muddy, and we'll be hearing about mudslides in Malibu and all of that kind of stuff. So I want to get a couple of trees planted. I'm going to get that done before the rains come. Right. Uh, my winter garden is blossoming, and mm -hmm. uh, that will probably change come the rains. And then with the rains, I might even start a spring garden. 
start uh, new vegetables, things right. like that. So yeah, cycles. Yeah, cycles. So more cycles. That's, a, that's a yearly thing. More tuned to us is uh, getting ready for uh, taxes, collecting all the forms by the end of generally uh, that, by the end of January. They yep, that never changes. Them, right, and then yep. if we owe, we do them. Uh, I do everything with TurboTax, so I do it. And if I owe money, then I file on the fifteenth uh, electronically. And if uh, I'm due money, I file it immediately because yeah. I want to. Do my patriotic duty. <laughs> <laughs> well, I contact, I use TurboTax as well, but I yeah. also use Brett McMillan, who's oh, yeah, done a Brett. number of videos for us. Yeah, and right. Brett, uh, Brett is a great advisor, uh, but he, he specializes, among other people, because he's over 50, so he specializes in folks like you and me with a little gray hair, but he also specializes in first responders. Oh. And uh, this year, I think things are going to change for a lot of people because 2020 was so bad that there were a lot of people who were either out of work or whose businesses had to close. Um, and first responders, I don't know where they are, you know, firemen and police people and uh, nurses and doctors, their, their lives, their tax lives might be a little bit different. But right. for the rest of us, things were certainly different, you know, less income. Yeah. Maybe more expenses. Kind of and weird. So For those of us who are collecting on an IRA, we were given the option of not taking last year. Okay? Yes. But I suspect that when you take this year, it's going to be yeah. double, double whammy. Yeah. Uh, well, so by the end of the year, that's going to happen. Well, you can. the other thing is that you know that the Republicans have been bitching and moaning about the Democrats for four years. Mm -hmm. Democrats will raise taxes and... Sure enough, Uncle Joe has so, announced that he's going to raise taxes. So here, here, here's what I'm hoping. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, they, to pay for all the infrastructure and the COVID help and, and the money that they're even sending you, Mr. Coleman, that yes. I don't see you rejecting, uh, you socialist, uh, that what will happen is they're going to take all the people who made 400000 or more and revert their taxes to what they were before. Now, quite frankly, I don't have that problem this year. So <laughs> I'm I'm looking for I'm looking forward to both of us, okay, being in the new pay taxes because we're making more money with the lower uh, threshold for paying taxes. So that's a cycle I can live with. So wait, wait we uh, talked about buy cycles. We talked about planting cycles. We haven't talked about tri cycles. How or, about wait, or, wait, wait, or how about your cycle of uh, your classes, your uh, Tai Chi classes? Oh, you, yeah. you take them online. I take them online, and they all actually they start uh, uh, immediately this week. And by the time we publish this on Thursday, I'll already be into like my third. That'll be my third day of emeritus yeah. classes that run for seventeen weeks. That's wonderful. It really is. Now the emerit the the classes you take are called emeritus, and they come right. through a, a local. Uh, uh, college. In my case, Saddleback College. But the nice thing, by the way, is that anybody in California uh, can take them. So you don't have to just live <clears throat> in Southern California. So if you so, live in Sacramento and there was a class you wanted to take, you could sign up because it's a, really a state thing that's administered right. by the local school. Yes, I think that I think community colleges are that way around the country. Generally speaking, they're they're uh, they're all state. Uh, licensed, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, and so I think they're all connected. I know in California, there's, I want to say, 150, approximately 150 community colleges, and I know they're all connected. So um, you're right. You can take, you could be in Sacramento and take a course in Southern California from a college in Southern California. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's a cycle for you. It's school starting up mm -hmm. again for the kids, right? right? My granddaughters are back in college. Uh, they flew out last week. They're uh, you have one on the east coast and one in Colo and one in Colorado, I think. Yep, yep. So mm -hmm. they're they're um, they're back to school, and uh, I guess that means the holidays are really, really, truly over. Yeah, and and also the, probably the, the most important cycle that we'd like to talk about today is to remind everybody that we're still basically homebound very few opportunities to go to restaurants, theaters, and everything else. So that cycle is sort of like, it's a, a steady. We don't have to worry about yeah. it starting up and going down. It's something we can count on. 
probably unfortunately yeah, I'm waiting, for the next six months. I'm waiting for a new cycle of uh, restaurants and and rest, right. restaurants and stores to open. So yeah, I, th I think it's uh, probably uh, next fall, the the end of the summer. Oh God, I hope it's. Mm. Uh, who who's the the uh, governor of New York? He just uh, Cuomo. He just found religion. He just found religion and announced that all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he thinks maybe we ought to be opening up the restaurants and all these stores because you know why? The economy's being hurt. You know, do, do oh, we... yeah. Oh, yeah. What, what, four what, years what, of four years of Republicanism, he yeah. thought the economy was why not you, as important. Why don't, why don't you praise your 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 boy in uh, in uh, Florida that that's uh, killing everybody by having no rules, no masks, uh, everybody go to a restaurant, yeah, have a good time. Okay, the old, I pe know. old people are going to die anyway. Yeah, and as it turns out, when the Democrats open up, quote, open up after every shutdown, after every single lockdown, they open up. Let's try it. What happens? Same people die. Right. So, Art, I know that you're a Democrat, and I'm a Republican, and I know the two shall never meet. No, it's but right. No. There is there is a middle ground, and the middle ground is that the COVID doesn't respect politics. Right. So wait, I want to correct something here. You know, John, you, you like to dig it in. Uh, up until the last year, we were both yes. registered Republicans, while you referred to me as a rhino, okay? Uh, uh, I, we were both registered Republicans, uh, at least for the last 20, 30, 40 years, since I've been in California. Uh, and then what I did was, because of my feelings about certain people, I decided to, I don't want to be uh, that anymore. So I registered as an independent. Uh, and, I have, and I have Forgive voted. Me. I, uh, I apologize yeah, you for well misconstruing your political <laughs> leanings. So, I, I really do. So you still, you still but are I know you better. an extremist, and I'm a, I'm a middle-of-the-road guy. I'm just, I'm just saying. I know, I know, uh, yeah. Okay, but between yeah. the two of us, you know, it's like um, they used to tell me a long time ago when I had to explain to somebody uh, uh, something about averages, because uh, on average we're we're ni we're a nice guy on average, okay. Yeah. And the way I used to be explained to me is that if your feet are in the refrigerator and um, your head is in the oven, on average you're comfortable. So. I think that we bring the best of, of both extremes uh, uh, to a nice manageable point. And we share probably our views in one form or another. Anybody who watches us will find something that they can agree to. Oh, I love that kind of talk. And that's a cycle that you can count on every single week. Amen, brother. Okay. All right, listen, the end of this cycle, which is a weekly vlog, right. has come... Full cycle. Hit a smack in the face. That's the end of the cycle. <laughs> right. So, yeah. so thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. And uh, by the way, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We could use all the subscriptions we can get. And tell your friends, because there's we have uh, our website and our YouTube channel. We've done hundreds of videos, and they're all designed to help you navigate life after 50 years old and uh, enjoy life. Get Get the best out of it. It is a user manual for the second half of your life. Live long and prosper. Amen. There's, there's an out cue if I ever heard one. Thanks. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.